Oh, this is Halo 5 Tutor with another Halo 5 multiplayer gameplay commentary. As always, I'm bringing you the tips and tricks that you need to step up your game and take it to the next level. I'll help you win more often and have more fun while you're doing it. This game type is Breakout on the map Gambit, and this is a brand new game type, and it's a lot of fun. I really like it quite a bit. There's a dedicated playlist for this, or you may also get this game type when you're playing in Arena. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this game type, as you may be because it's brand new, you play as many rounds as necessary until a team wins five rounds. And within each round, if you die, you're out for the round. You do not respawn. So it's a very precarious situation. It's one and done. Now, you can also win a round by capturing the flag, which is spawns in the center of the map, and you can deliver it to your opponent's base in the back of the map. So that's something to keep in mind. A couple times when I first started playing, I'd grab the flag and take it back to my base where I started, which is incorrect. You don't want it. That's the wrong way. So keep that in mind. That's, that's the first tip is don't run the flag the wrong direction. But really, when the game gets started and it's four on four, you want to be somewhat cautious. You generally don't want to push beyond the center boundary until your team has picked up at least one or two kills. Because if you stay on your half of the map on the early going, uh, usually you can pick up an, a kill or two with grenades, some team shooting. If you get hit, you can always fall back to cover and make sure that you don't uh, take an early loss on the team. It's very, very important that you outnumber your opponents because when you outnumber your opponents, it's just a war of attrition. The more you outnumber them, the much better odds that you have. And that all starts in the, like, the first 20 seconds of each round. So you don't want to just rush out there and put yourself in a vulnerable position by crossing the center boundary or going straight down the middle without any cover or heaven forbid do not head straight for the flag okay the flag is kind of a last resort type of thing you generally don't win with the flag usually the only time you're going to cap the flag is if it's like a three on one four on one situation where you outnumber your opponent and he's just kind of hiding in a corner because he he's afraid of getting destroyed in as when he's outnumbered in that case sometimes you grab the flag and just cap it but Otherwise, you, you want to focus on just hunting down your opponents and killing them. So you want to start things off uh, somewhat defensively at the beginning. But then once you do outnumber your opponents, you want to look for situations where you can get into a two-on-one, three-on-one situation. So you want to stick together with your teammates and try to outnumber your opponents as best as you can. Uh, also, there is no radar in this game type, and so it's a great idea to flank your opponents. Get back, go up the sides, get around behind them, catch them by surprise. They're not going to see you coming. You can pick up a lot of kills by swinging around behind your opponents. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, that being said, while you're playing, uh, continue to look behind you because it's very, very easy for opponents to sneak up behind you. So as you know, I tend to move along the edges of the map. And uh, as the game progresses, I move along the edges, but I try to keep a view of the map as best as I can to the sides and the center so that I can tell if someone is moving across the map and I can go circle around and cut them off or catch them by surprise. Uh, generally speaking, map control is not really a big issue. Power weapon control is not really a big issue because... Really, the only thing you need to be concerned about is outnumbering your opponents. So again, at the beginning, be a little cautious. Get a little bit more aggressive at first. Don't go for the flag capture until, unless it's just absolutely necessary. And uh, yeah, try to get out there and flank your opponents. Catch them by surprise. Remember, there's no radar, so keep your head about you and you should be fine. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Halo 5 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.